Nation Nation here with uh, Coach Hafner for Week Eight. Um, the year flying just keeps by, on flying <laughs> by. Yeah, so I mean, you had the I got the bye week out of the way. So actually, Week Nine overall when right. it's all said and done. But um, nice win on the road against Peru State, tough team that you guys knew you were kind of having this mirror image, mm-hmm. you know, and everything, and um, kind of ended up being a game statistically at least that. It, the score is surprising that it was that close when you look at the stats, especially that we we ran the ball really well like we thought we could, right. and we stopped their run, which was a you know big emphasis, obviously. And yeah, they were still in the game at the end, but we we pulled it out. Well, I think if you look at you know the way things went, they, they couldn't have gone any better for us to right. be honest with you. You know, we we controlled the clock, we controlled mm-hmm. the ball, we had more yards, we did right. all that, but we made some special teams errors that really hurt us. Right. You know, our kickoff coverage team was not very good. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a long punt return that got, you know, yeah. gave them a lot of field position. Sure. And we turned it over twice. Right. You know, we turned it over once on the first drive coming out, gave sure. them a short field. Mm-hmm. And then we turned it over um, going in, right. you know, in the red zone. And so, right. you know, those two, you know, th- those things combined, you yeah. know, there's five or six plays there that sure. really um, allowed them to stay in the game. But other than that, I thought our kids played great. Right. Yeah, definitely. Um, in regards to, um, you know, obviously you guys – executed your game plan better than they executed theirs. Right. Um, like I said, their bread and butter is a run. You know, they're averaging like 270 yards, and you guys held them to 100, not even 100, 96. Yeah, 94, 6. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so obviously both sides of the ball, you guys were doing what you wanted to do, mm-hmm. imposing your will. So well, we cool. were, and, you know, and they're toward the end of the game. You know, they, they started throwing the ball a little bit, and, right. and they caught us a couple times. I sure. mean, it's if you're not – completely sound in what you do with right. with you know defending the option they some of their play action stuff can catch yeah, in sure. and they did um their quarterback made some nice plays they caught us in a screen pass one time and, and things like that so um you know but other than that i really felt the the way we defended them was as good as it could have been yeah um you know offensively you know toward the end of the game we the last six minutes and 13 seconds when they got within three points right. you know we converted a, a third down and we converted two fourth downs right. to basically run exactly. the clock out and um, and, and I'm proud of our kids for that because yeah. that's one thing that we talk about is finishing games. And yep. you know, anytime you can convert third and fourth down to, to sure. finish a game, that, that, that means it's pretty special. Sure. Um, a, a couple of just random things here. Um, the TV game. Um, obviously, you guys won. Always looking good, looking good in front of you know in front of uh, the national crowd and all of that. Um, so that obviously, you guys had been pumped about that. But also starting. Uh, conference play true conference play with the victory um on the road you know against a team that was more than just a trip up game oh that was that was going to be a tough game they're receiving votes so you guys have to feel very confident after week one of north division play well we really do and and you know we knew going in that they were a good team i think they're even better now that we've played them yeah um i really feel that you know they're a top 25 team without question um they have uh, their secondary and their linebackers were fantastic you know we had troubles all day we threw we completed one ball all day and um, you know, fortunately, we were able to, you know, to control the up front a little bit. Sure. Um, but coming out of the game, we feel really good about where we're at. You know, sure. we've got a tough one this week, and we'll, you know, go try and get win number two. But, sure. you know, having one on the road at a place where um, it's typically very hard for right. teams to go in and win, we feel really good about where we're at right now. Sure, definitely. Switching gears to this Saturday, um, Cobra Stockton's winless. But it doesn't mean that they're not a tough team. It doesn't mean that they haven't given some teams some fits at times. Um, and I'm sure they would love to play spoiler um, for us to, to ruin our like, <laughs> wouldn't ruin our season early. But you know it puts a damper on it. But, but it makes things sure. really tough. Right. So obviously you want to go in, take care of business against Culver, and come back home two and zero. Well, division. what we really want to do is we really want to go play well. Yeah. You know, and we that's what we talked about with our kids on Tuesday at practice is. You know, I know you see their record. I know you know all those things. Right. But when you watch film, you're going to find out that this team is better than what they indicate. Sure. And I've said this before. If, if you don't go play well, you're going to get beat. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's not a matter of playing down to the level of competition. Right. If you don't play good, you're going to lose. Right. And so um, I, I think, you know, Tuesday we were a little bit sluggish <laughs> um, coming out. Um, we kind of got on them a little bit that this isn't how things are going to be around here. Right. Uh, yesterday we, we had a great practice. Uh, hopefully we'll go out today and, and really polish things up and get ready to go. But I uh, feel good about the game plan on both right. sides of the ball, and 
um, you know, we'll leave Saturday morning to make the road trip, and, and hopefully we'll go over, go over there and play well. Sure. Uh, statistically, it's it's a mismatch. There's no way around that. They give up a lot of points, and um, just on, on paper, it doesn't look like they're a very good team. But what are we, uh, it comes back to keys to success, what are we trying to make sure that we do well to come away from with the victory? Well, I think more than, more than anything right now, just watching it, you know, they're a young football team. Sure. So it's one of those things, at some point in the season, it's all going to come together for them. Right, right. And we just have to make sure that we go in, that we're confident in what we're doing, mm -hmm. um, and that we go execute early in the game. You know, let's go try and, and, and put a little damper on their homecoming early sure. in the game. Let's sure. not give them confidence. Let's right. not let their confidence grow. Right. Let's go try and make some plays early in the sure. game. Uh, to take some air out of their sails and then, um, you know, control the clock and do some of those different things. But, you know, they've got a good running back. Their quarterback's just a freshman, but he's playing good. Sure. And we have to stop the run um, defensively, and then we have to be able to control the ball. And we have to throw the ball a little bit because what sure. they do scheme-wise um, can give us some fits if, we don't, if we're not able to back them out of the box. So right. um, I, I think that those are important things, that we need to get on them early, our defense needs to stop the run, and, mm -hmm. and we need to be able to complete some balls early in the game. Sure, and obviously it's always good to be a little two-dimensional. I sure. Mean, so we have a very good running game, but you've got to be able to pass it a little bit, otherwise you're expecting 9 to 11 players in the box that right. are going to make it extremely difficult. Well, and to other, than, other than last there. week, you know, we've we've really done a good job in the games right. that we've won of being more than just a yes. run run happy team, and, right. which we are. Um, yeah. But well, yeah, there's no question. We want to run <laughs> right. first. Yeah. But but in the games that we've uh, won, other than the Peru game, we've been able to run it and throw it with success. And I think that in order for us to continue to be successful down the road in this weekend, um, we're going to have to be able to do both. Sure, definitely. All right, Coach. Well, um, any other tidbits that you'd like to? Um, well, I we're a little banged up. And we, we are. Need to, we don't yeah, need to talk no, a lot about that, yeah. but a little banged up. So if there's ever a time to play a team that might, you know, it's a favorable matchup, it's this week, is to get everybody healthy going into the, the stretch run, the final three that are going to be really huge. Right, and that, that's a good point. But, you know, we've got some kids banged up right now that it wouldn't matter who we were playing. Right. We're going to be able to play this week. Yeah, and so, yeah, sure. um, you know, so we're going to – we've, we've – We've been able to develop some depth. Yeah. Um, we had some injuries early in the year that sure. we had to play some young players. Uh, and so the fact that we've been able to do that is really going to help us now and, and going forward. Sure. Um, you know, we feel good about the kids that are playing. We feel good about, mm -hmm. you know, if someone was a backup and now they're having to play, we feel good that they're right. going to be able to get the job done sure. uh, at at least the, the, high, the high level that their, sure. their person with, that they were competing with was playing at. And to be honest with you right now, we feel really good about our football team. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we're going to go win one or five, four more. Who knows? But I, I think that if we play our best and, and we have great weeks of preparation, sure. that we sure can, um, you know, finish this thing on a good note. Sure, definitely. All right, Coach. Well, 2 o'clock starts, so yep. you get, get, the guys get a little more, <laughs> little more rest uh, during the day. It's not a, a night game. It's right there smack dab in the middle right. of the day, which is great. Um, weather looks uh, favorable and everything, so hopefully it'll be a, a good day for the statesmen. Um, you hate to rain on somebody's homecoming, but hey, we got to win too. So um, yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, so go out and go on and, go on and uh, defeat uh, Cobra Stockton, get to two and zero in the conference, and keep rolling. So. That's our goal. Okay. And uh, thanks a lot for having me here. All right. Thanks. Thank All you. Right.